Good day students, it's Dr. Wheeler again. Hope your day is going very well. And I hope you can take a little break and sit back and enjoy a story. The one I picked for you today uh, was a gift from one of your teachers. I'm not gonna name her, but she's been very kind to me in producing some of the books that you have heard and gifted them to me. And I really appreciate that. So this story is called Sticks. Sticks. And it's written and illustrated by Diane Albert. And she dedicated this book to her children, Ryan and Anna, with this comment. Thank you for refusing to throw away your sticky popsicle, popsicle sticks because you knew you could make them into something amazing. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold, tasty treat began melting away. What is it? It's an orange popsicle, which as we all know, melt really fast, but especially on a hot day. And of course, it's on a popsicle stick. It was so very hot and it happened so quick. What once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, this sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. I should not have gone out when it was so hot. I was sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This all has gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Then Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you've been through. My name is Twig, and I'm made of wood too. You see? Please do not cry. Just listen to me. Before being a popsicle, you were part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. Twig quickly jumped down from the very tall tree and said, Stick. There's something I'd like you to see. Sometimes things happen and the reasons aren't clear, but give it some time and the answers appear. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand. Hopefully he could help Stick understand. Pencil says, I was once a stick too and nothing much more, but then one special day I got a gray core. What would the gray core be? Well, it would be the pencil lid. I didn't know how to draw, so I swirled a nice line and then I discovered I would made a design. You are amazing. Good job, Pencil. Can't you see I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always just be an icky, sticky stick. Twig knew she needed 
to show Stick even more, something amazing that he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too, but now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. Twig said, Brush was a plain stick and nothing much more, but one special day he got bristles galore. Look at him now, look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splattered crew. It's true what Tig Twig said, said Brush. I was once just like you. Please don't be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared, I can tell by your face, but it might take some time to find your right place. We believe in you. Good job, Brush. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Listen to me. You are pretty great. Don't say I can't. Say I can and celebrate. I know you have not been a plain stick before. You have the chance now to be something much more. Twig saw that Stick was still very upset. So she thought they should go back to where they first met. Back at the sweet puddle of sugary goo, Twig thought Stick might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been there all along. That little stick house could be where you belong. Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, hurry up, follow me. Stick couldn't believe Twig had climbed up so high. I've never climbed a tree and I'm, I'm too scared to try. Just then a bluebird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. The bird placed him gently in the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. Stick never forgot that one hot summer day and was glad that his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. And then at the back there are instructions on how to build a house like that. And I wish I was there with you so I could tell you all about it. But your teachers could probably help you with it using popsicle, popsicle sticks and paint and glue and string to hang it with. I bet you could do that. All right, that's the end of the book Sticks. This reminds me of another book I read a couple of weeks ago, uh, and that is What Do You Do With a Chance? I hope you heard it. If you haven't, you might want to go back and hear that story. But, Stick 
lost his identity. All he could think of was he was a popsicle stick, and it melted away, as they always do. And Stick was afraid to try anything new. And sometimes, people like you and me, we're afraid to take a chance. We're afraid to take that opportunity to discover what it could produce. So don't be afraid to take chances when they come about. Okay? Talk with friends, talk with parents, see what they would advise you to do, and then step out and take that chance if they agree. You may be very glad you did. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.